Hi Reese. I hope you're doing well. Papa is up in his office and today I want to read you a book. It's called Chicken Little. I don't know if you know this book or not, but it's about a chicken who thought that the sky was falling. And it's, it's kind of short, but I'll read it to you. One day Chicken Little was walking in the woods when kerplunk an acorn fell on her head. Oh my goodness, said Chicken Little, the sky is falling. I must go and tell the king. On her way to the king's palace, Chicken Little met Henny Penny. Henny Penny said that she was going into the woods to dig for worms. Oh no, don't go, said Chicken Little. I was there and the sky fell on my head. Come with me to tell the king. There we go. i got to get it where I can read it. So Henny Penny joined Chicken Little, and they went along and went along as fast as they could. Soon they met Cocky Locky, who said, I'm going to the woods to hunt for seeds. Oh no, don't go, said Henny Penny. The sky is falling there. Come with us to tell the king. So Cocky Locky joined Henny Penny and Chicken Little, and they went along and went along as fast as they could. Soon they met Goosey Pussy, who was planning to go to the woods to look for berries. Oh no, don't go, said Cocky Locky. The sky is falling there. Come with us to tell the king. So Goosey Pussy joined Cocky Locky, Henny Penny, and Chicken Little, and they went along as fast as they could. Then who should appear on the path but sly old Foxy Woxy? Can you see him, Reese? Can you see Foxy Woxy right there? Where are you going, my fine feathered friends? asked Foxy Woxy. He spoke in a polite manner so as not to frighten them. The sky is falling, cried Chicken Little. We must tell the king. I know a shortcut to the palace, said Foxy Woxy sweetly. Come and follow me. But wicked Foxy Woxy did not lead Chicken Little and the others to the palace. He led them right up to the entrance of his foxhole. Once they were inside, Foxy Woxy was planning to gobble them up. Just as Chicken Little and the others were about to go into the fox's hole, they heard a strange sound, and they stopped. It was the king's hunting dogs growling and howling. How Foxy Woxy ran along the meadows and uh, through the forest with the hounds close behind. He ran until he was far, far away and never dared to come back again. After that day, Chicken Little always carried an umbrella with her when she walked in the woods. The umbrella was a present from the king. And if, kerplunk, an acorn fell, Chicken Little didn't mind a bit. In fact, she didn't notice it at all. I hope you like that story, Reese. I love you, and I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.